Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yep. Uh, Disney is finding itself on the receiving end of a lawsuit by the screenwriters of the original Predator movie. They want their movie rights back and Disney is kind of squatting on them. Now we know what will happen. Disney will win. Well, Disney will probably just give them money to go away. <laughs> give them money to go away. We're going to talk about that because this seems to be kind of at the core, maybe, maybe, of why there are so many reboots of 70s and 80s IP and why it seems to move up every few years from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s because mm -hmm. it has something to do with copyright law that you basically have 35 years to use it or lose it and uh, you know Disney does have big plans for Predator now because they bought it as part of the Fox acquisition. It is technically sort of, I guess, kind of part of the uh, the Alien universe. They want to reboot that, uh, and these these pesky creators are standing in Mickey's way. How dare they? How dare they create it and then get in the way of Mickey Mouse? I know, right? Uh, bow before Mickey. So before <laughs> we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 185,000 subs. Woo! Well, Thank we you. would be at over 186, but but it's getting weird with YouTube. There's, I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on with YouTube. They're trying to hide the dislike buttons. We've heard people are having their likes removed. Uh, we're not having subscribers removed uh, well, that we can weird. see. Well, it's weird because like it keeps saying that we're going to 186 by like the 15th, and then it was moved to the 17th, and now it's gotten moved to the 22nd. And it just keeps getting further and further apart. Now, is it possible people aren't subscribing? Yes, but based on the engagement, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, I think YouTube is going through an auditing subscribers on certain channels, maybe all their channels, but certain certain well, news channels, I think they we are. We don't fake our, our subs. So, you know, you're kind of wasting your time, but go knock yourself out. Yeah, we've actually never had, the only time we ever had a sub purge, we had we lost a couple hundred once. Uh, and then people and said they were just they were just unsubscribed. Yeah. And they came right back. Yeah. So, so you know, we never we've never had a purge because we never bought anything. So Well, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube is up to shenanigans. There's another algorithm change coming and we know what that means. It's usually bad news for smaller well, channels yeah, like us. Because they're gonna they're gonna, you know, promote trusted news sources like CNN. And ABC owned mm -hmm. by Disney. Right. Uh, but people like us who just call out bullshit will get relegated to the fake news category. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, this is real news. I've got several sources that the screenwriters are suing Disney for the rights. Uh, Disney is slapping back, though. They're basically like, yeah, you know, we didn't answer you for years, but it still doesn't mean that, you know. But it's still uh, your fault somehow. It's still your fault somehow. Gaslighting, gaslighting those screenwriters. Uh, so this has been all over the place. It said uh, it might be a while until we see a Predator series on Disney Plus or Hulu. The screenwriters who wrote the original 87 classic are suing Disney and trying to recapture their rights. Uh, last month it was reported. Now this is kind of interesting. People wonder what was going on because they canceled the Predator comic mm -hmm. from Marvel. They just like, they didn't give an explanation. They're just like, yeah, we're canceling the comic book. And uh, they said, does it have something to do with Marvel switching to penguin it probably has more to do with disney getting sued because <laughs> you know they're just like we don't know what's going to happen so we're going to pull the plug on this uh, according to the hollywood reporter brothers jim and john thomas have filed a lawsuit against disney seeking confirmation of uh to successfully recapture rights to the franchise the thomas brothers are seeking to exploit the copyright laws termination provision after 35 years the copyright of a work theoretically should revert to the originator. But here's the thing, it's Disney. And we all know it's a running joke among everyone about copyright and Disney. That yeah. somehow every time one of their copyrights is supposed to be coming up, there's a new law passed or something happens that they miraculously can keep their copyrights themselves and they avoid going into the public domain. Yeah, so there, uh, you know, this is actually kind of what happened with Terminator too. There was a lot of talk about Terminator and uh, you know, possibly being the last, um, you know, last movie that they could do, Dark Fate. Which, <laughs> what a way to go out, right? I know, right? Uh, with that dud. But this also explains why you know these franchises are dormant, and all of a sudden, hey, let's make a new movie, let's make a reimagining, let's make a reboot, and it's almost like they're trying to, you know, keep keep using it, use mm -hmm. it or lose it. And this kind of happened with toys too. I remember. Uh, Hasbro lost the rights to the name Megatron for Transformers. Well, they lost rights to the names of My Little Ponies, too. Yeah. 
So they had to name them something else. Yeah, for the, when they had the G3, they had different weird names. Like, why? And it was because they lost rights. So what they do with Transformers now is to get around it is they'll call it like Autobot Ratchet. Or, right. Uh, or Decepticon, you know, Weird Wolf or whatever. Because uh, they lost Megatron, I think, to the Yu-Gi-Oh people or something. But that also explains why you cut the core characters, Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, Bumblebee, Grimlock why they keep making them again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. It's probably to keep that trademark active. Yeah, you know? I'm sure you're right. Um, so yeah, uh, the Hollywood Reporter broke it down in another article, and we'll we'll talk about this too, that there are a lot of 80s films that uh, you know the studios are going to lose the rights to because of this, this law. It said in the late 70s, Congress amended the copyright law to allow authors to grab back rights from studios after waiting a few decades. Until now, the termination provision has largely been exploited by musicians, not screenwriters. Records show a flurry of termination notices in the past year. Under law, they can come 35 years after publication, which threatens to unsettle who owns the ability to make sequels and reboots of iconic films from the mid to late 80s. Right. So these studios are buying all this stuff up because they're like, oh, we're going to you know, we're gonna reboot this. We're going to remake that. Because, you know, ever since the 80s and early 90s, uh, creativity has been, you know, lacking. But... Now these people can get their stuff back. And even yeah. if you buy a studio to get that right, doesn't mean you're going to get to keep those rights. Right. Because apparently what happened in this case, as I understand it, was that the uh, Thomas brothers informed Fox like four or five years ago that they wanted their rights back. And uh, they never got an answer. And now that Disney owns Fox, it becomes their problem. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, just because we didn't answer doesn't mean that you're getting your stuff yeah, back. Yeah, but just because you want to squat on it doesn't mean they have the legal right to do so. Right. So... Um, you know, I brought up how Disney is very good at uh, manipulating mm -hmm. public domain. Yeah, why is uh, Mickey never in the public domain, guys? Uh, well, he's supposed to. The original version of Mickey Mouse is supposed to go in the public domain in 2024. Oh, but a new law will get passed. You watch. Yeah, it I'm will. sure a lot of money in lobbying to change the rules so that the copyright laws are changed yet again, so that Mickey Mouse can stay not you know owned by Disney specifically. So just tin foil mouse ears again. Could this possibly, maybe possibly be part of the reason that Disney has pushed so hard on one side of the aisle to get uh, their people mm -hmm. in to make sure that uh, the copyright law is always in favor of, of the Walt that. Disney Company? You know, because you got to have somebody in office that likes you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just it's, saying. It's getting ridiculous, though, the way they keep, you know, manipulating their rights on things. It, 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 it's become a right joke in, in, in the entertainment industry and, in, you know, comics and all that, too, is that Disney always gets to keep their domain. Yeah, and copyright law has been kind of abused. The original purpose was that it was supposed to provide for the creator for their lifetime. And now they're extending the copyrights indefinitely because it was never really a thought when these laws were passed that some mega corporation was going to come in and own characters and concepts. Buy it all up and say that they always own it no matter what? Till the end of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now they're saying 2024. Now I heard Mickey before was supposed to expire, but they're saying that's only the original Steamboat Willie version of Mickey. But I'm waiting for Disney to be like, oh yeah, hey, but we put him at the beginning of all of our animated movies mm -hmm. now. We did the um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which everybody was like, you have never done a Mickey Mouse ride before. I mean, I'm not saying it, but they put the Steamboat Willie sound and all that. They made a big deal about how they're using Steamboat Willie in it. Yeah. Um, and now, you know, this they could be doing something there to try to leverage it to provide, you know, basis for having it extended. Something stupid like that. Yeah. And I, I actually wondered because I was like, hey, it's kind of a cool nod to put uh, Steamboat Willie in the beginning of the Walt Disney mm -hmm. Animation Studios. But yeah, it's like, it's oh. The copyright, the copyright's almost up, and they might be like, "Well, you know, technically it renews because he's our he's our uh, trademarkable icon from mm -hmm. Walt Disney Animation Studios." So you can't take Steamboat Willie. Mm -mm. What are they going to do eventually when the next version comes up? They're going to just put them both on the beginning to say that they're, <laughs> just they're both our trademarked icons. Oh no, I know what they'll do. They'll they'll make it magical. They'll be like, "Oh, Mickey's going to like Mickey walk for across." The years. Yeah, he's going to walk across the screen. They've done uh, it Kind of like the Neanderthal, the evolution picture, mm -hmm. and he's going to change. They design. have something like that now, I believe. Yeah. I think they do. They'll they'll find some magical creative way to be like, that's our trademark. All of those Mickeys are our trademark, our copyright, and you can never never get rid of them. Um, but this this does seem like it could partially explain why these studios keep rebooting. Like, why would you reboot XYZ thing? Why are we talking about another Beetlejuice? Why are we talking about it? it's like, oh, because it's it's something you can merchandise. I mean, Beetlejuice has become very hot again in merchandise. 
mm-hmm. you know, and uh, they're going to be like, well, we need to, we need to keep this. So let's make another movie. Let's, you know, um, so yeah, they talked about uh, Predator getting, uh, you know, bought up by the Fox acquisition. According to the Thomas Brothers complaint, the effective termination date for the Predator screenplay, originally titled Hunters, is April 17th, 2021, which is this Saturday. Oh, that's yeah. tomorrow. So uh, Jim and John Thomas say they served a termination notice all the way back in 2016. So apparently, as I understand it, the authors, the originators of, of the copyright, they, they when the 35 years comes up, they can say, we're not granting you an extension. We want it back. Yeah, they have a right to do that. Right. And they already let Fox know. Yes. You know, years ago that they were going to do this. They gave them five years notice. Yep. So now Disney's going to try to argue, well, we bought them, so we should be given more notice. than Yes. This. And the thing is, it doesn't work that way. Because didn't, didn't Disney try to um, argue, you know, well, like they have to pay people for when they bought the Star Wars books because, yes. that, you know, they tried to un- argue that was under a different agreement. This is not the same thing. This is that, that this, this IP was leased to Fox till 2021. Even yeah. if Disney bought it, it still was only leased Till 2021. Yeah, it's basically that's that's the best way to put it. It is it is leased, and we're seeing a lot of musicians get their work back. We're seeing uh, like the author of, of the Last Unicorn finally getting his stuff back, and it is sort of leased. It sort of reminds me of a, an option in Hollywood where you've got you know you buy the rights to maybe possibly maybe do something with a property, but it, it's not indefinite. You've only got you know like two years or five years or ten right. years. Right, and they absorb the agreements from Fox. That does not mean that they get new dates because they're them. Right. Um, I love how places like Disney do this, where uh, they buy a company, but all the good things they want to keep and all the bad things they want to say, oh, oh, we don't have to do that because we bought the company. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, so this is what uh, they said. Yeah, 2016, they served it to Fox. They said, hey, we want Predator back. Um, in early January 2021, the defendant's counsel unexpectedly contacted plaintiff's counsel contesting the termination notice as supposedly untimely based on a theory that the 86 grant of the screenplay underlying the Predator films qualified for the special delayed termination time window intended for book publication grants. Right. For book publication. Right. Not movie. And how much, and even if it gave them a delay, it wouldn't be enough for them to go put their shows out. So this comes up after Disney tries to make announcements. They're doing with Ellie and they're trying to announce some Predator stuff. Yeah. So that that's what Disney's argument is. They're just trying, basically, the guys who created Predator are just trying to cash in on us. That's right. Even though they're trying to cash in on the Predator franchise years after the fact. That they created. They want right. it back because they were probably like... We'll take yeah. it to Netflix or something. Yeah. Get our own deal. It's yeah. our RIP. Yeah. Even if, if they wrote the screenplay. Now, I don't know the specifics because it might be that they wrote the screenplay. They own those characters. They own the Predator aliens. Um, but they might not own like the design of them because it might be that you know Fox designed the Predator aliens based on their screenplay, but they don't technically own. Right, but even that, then, you know? you know, the only thing they would own, the only thing that that Disney would own then would be uh, what was that was created by Fox if that was yeah. the case. So they wouldn't even own that stuff. Well, I guarantee it's all going to go away anyway because Disney will just make sure they pay them off to make sure it does go away. Yeah. So yeah, Disney legal replied. Uh, to the defendants, they said, uh, defendants' notices fail to comply with these statutory requirements and are invalid as a matter of law. 20th century seeks a declaration pursuant to blah, blah, blah. So wait, they're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go to court to have them change the rules for us. Pretty much. Yeah. The action is necessary because defendants are improperly attempting to prematurely terminate 20th century's rights to the Hunter screenplay at the very time that 20th century is investing. Doesn't substantial, matter. Yep. Investing substantial time, money, and effort in developing another installment in its Predator uh-uh. franchise. No, 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 no. Doesn't matter because this, their notice was served before you even got it disney yeah before you started reinvesting substantial time and money you don't get that's like okay you get told something and then you hurry up and start doing something saying well look i i was doing this and you're you're just it's unfair that you asked me that now you knew you had notice you can't make that claim it wasn't like you know you had no idea whatsoever it could be argued that disney blew these guys off because they knew this was because I'm sure they were alerted when it got when they got bought out too. I'm sure there was a reminder sent. Yeah, Disney's got a massive legal department. I'm sure they knew that that was one of the deals when they bought Fox. 
And I'm sure they were just like, you know, let's blow these guys off. And then when it hit the press, they're like, oh, oh, poor us. We just announced that we're going to make Alien and Predator stuff. And now you're trying to steal from Mickey. Well, what we're hearing is they're trying to argue things that were made for publishing that weren't made for, for uh, the movies anyway. No, no. And now they're trying to get a declaration made in their favor. Yeah. So basically the rules changed for them. And this yeah. is what I'm sick and tired of. You know why we complain about Disney? Because of this kind of shit. Because I'm so tired. I am so effing tired of Disney pulling underhanded catty nasty things and then then on one side and then telling everybody but we're the family option we're the we're the brand for families why the back door they're going around doing these really underhanded they're like the mafia of studios uh, yeah you know i i watched part of a video the other day i think it was your boy zach who talked about uh, ed brubaker comics creator who was sickened by the way that disney treated him when it came to the winter soldier which mm -hmm. is character he created now it was based on Bucky, who was a teenage sidekick, you know, back in the original comics, but then they brought him back, made him the, the Winter Soldier. And um, he said that he hardly gets any money from any uh, theatrical appearances of the character. He said he was dealt with very badly. And um, your boy Zach was like, you know, it's so funny. All these comics creators basically white knighted for these corporations for so many years, and now it's biting them in the ass. Right. Because this is who they really are. This is the Disney, the same company who goes about how their brand's worth so much money and their brand should be considered when things because their brand has value, right? Same Disney that when they assess the property at the Disney parks, at, at some of the resort hotels, and they re they rolled the brand value into the property assessment because it counts towards why they're arguing they can charge three to four times what other places can charge because they're Disney and the brand. That's what they argue when they tell people, well, you should book there even though you have to pay more. But then when they're assessed on that brand, they went and screamed and whined and complained and sued until they got their way and then they took all that assessment away. So Disney banks on its brand when they want to charge you and when they want to bully other people. But when they want to have, they have to pay for it, then their brand doesn't matter. You should be, you should always rule in favor of them. I'm just tired of the double standard bullshit at Disney. Disney's one of the most powerful entertainment conglomerates in the world. And they're always busting out the violin like, oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hurt poor Mickey Mouse, would you? He's your friend, pal. He's your buddy. I just love how the brand thing, they, they, they want to leverage that every chance they get. You have to pay more because of Disney brand. And then when they have to pay more because of Disney brand, oh, that shouldn't count. Well, I mean, look at how they treated their cast members. You know, they laid off a bunch of cast members, turned around and gave bonuses to their executives. Well, I mean, that's okay because Bob Chapek just bought a new 12 plus million dollar house in oh, California. Oh, yes, he did. He did. He just got himself a new one and he's selling his other one for like eight something million though. Oh, see, so he's getting an upgrade. Right, he's upgraded. Uh, from to an save, eight yes. million dollar mansion to a 14 million. But how people got laid off because Disney needed to save money because, you know, they were in trouble? Yeah, how many how many Disney employees were living in abject poverty? Mm -hmm. uh, Disneyland employees in Anaheim because you know Southern California is expensive. Anyway, so it's like, look, this is this is bullshit. Is you what know, this is. we like some of what Disney produces, but current year Disney, this is who they are. I mean, we saw it with Alan Dean Foster trying to get paid for I was Star Wars about books. That, yeah, yeah. Um, and they make problems go away. So what'll probably happen? It, you know, we had to guess is they'll probably throw a couple million at these guys to get them to go away and then just buy Predator outright. And yeah, well, like, I mean, at least that way these people aren't screwed. Yeah. You know, yeah. if they accept that deal, then that's between them and Disney and they aren't screwed over. And in that case, you know, it, it's kind of shitty. But, you know, if they agree to it, that's different. But, but I mean, right now, as it stands, it sounds to me like they're trying to to lie. They're trying to uh, change you know, change things, look for, you know, what they call declarations in their favor mm. so they can change the rules for themselves. And I think people are just really sick and tired of it. It's like Disney, if you're supposed to be a family company and you're supposed to be better and you're supposed to be the, you know, the gold standard for how people should be and how companies should be run, why don't you act like it? It's all about the money. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as the general public is dumb to what they're doing uh, and they continue to go to the theme parks and buy their movies and, doesn't matter. The average person's not going to know all the, the dirty stuff that goes on behind right. the scenes. If you want it, work it out with these guys and make sure they get paid because that's the only thing that's fair. Yeah. I mean, I would be like, I'm a multi-billion dollar company. Predator, we think we can make millions and millions of dollars off of still. So let's let's give them each, you know, five million bucks. Go, go shut up. We're buying Yeah, you know it. what? Honestly, it's probably cheaper to buy it outright from them than it is to pay for all the damage control you're going to do when people like us cover it on YouTube. There we go. We too can be bought for $5 million. No. <laughs>
keep saying that, but I'm like, who is we? You and how, the frog in your pocket? How bad you was to go away? No, uh, I'm just saying, people like us, we're just one of many that are going to oh, be yeah, covering yeah, this. Yeah. And the damage, they're going to spend more on damage control. They're going to spend more on lawyers fighting it than they would just be do the stand up thing and, and work it out, you know, equitably and fairly. But they'll spend more on the stupid lawyers to yeah. say, and they won't save anything. To set precedent, what they basically do, and Disney's got this this terrible reputation yeah. in Hollywood. And we've actually talked to some, we, you know, we have the entertainment attorneys. We've mm-hmm. talked to people who are like, we will take on any studio except Disney. Unless you have a really good case. Unless you have a really good case. Because their tactic, and they flat out told us this, is they will basically just run you out of money. Um, they'll stall, install, they install. That. Uh, and run you out of money because they know that they because they, they know they're wrong. They'll know the win just because they have more money, yeah. and that's what bullies do. So do, stop going around saying you're the family company, you're the family difference, because you're no different than any corporate bully out there already. So stop pretending like you are. So the one bright spot in this with this law is that one of two things is going to happen. Either we're going to see a lot of legal battles pop up, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to see some classic franchises maybe put to bed like they should have been decades mm-hmm. ago and not rebooted, you know, yep. not not reanimated like a zombie. Or Hollywood might actually have to make new stuff. Now, that would be amazing if Hollywood actually made new stuff. Now, that would what, be fantastic, yes. What I think is actually going to happen, though, is they're going to make new stuff that is basically knocking off old stuff so they can effectively make sequels or reboots of classic series without having to pay for no, it. No, what I think is going to happen is they're just going to get the laws changed. So they get to, they get to steal people's IP and keep it, yep. whether it be Disney or other companies. So Hollywood will go and make the laws get changed and, and lobby people and make sure that things get in their favor so that the people who created things will end up dying poor and, but without anything while they take all the money and all the IP. Because yep. that's how it always works out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so just realize, you know, you sell your sell your baby to Hollywood. You're and selling your baby to Hollywood. Disney wants our opinions to change. Do better. Because honestly, at the end of the day, that's all we want from you, Disney, is to do better. Yep. Uh, a lot of people would. A lot of people would come back. They'd come back if you got your shit together. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.